Hey everybody, how's it going? Seth Williams here from retipster.com. Today I'm talking with Philip Tone from REI Print Mail. So I learned about uh, REI Print Mail not long ago. And when I got on my, my first call with them, I learned about a lot of cool things they were doing, some really interesting direct mail templates, different types of value propositions that they bring to the market. And I thought it was worth talking about it right here to all of you with uh, RE Tipster. Not saying that you need to go with them, but I want you to at least be aware of what they're doing. And you can sort of self-select and decide, is this right for me or not? And Philip is going to walk us through the website, how the company works, and what you can expect if you decide to work with them. So, Philip, welcome. How's it going? Hey, pretty good, Seth. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Uh, are you tipster audience? Good to meet you guys. Yeah. Maybe we'll just start from the very beginning, the foundational level. What is REI Print Mail? REI Print Mail, we're a 31 year old direct response marketing company. Uh, I like to say 31 years because that resonates with people saying, hey, you know, a company that's still going strong, made it on the 5000 Inc., fastest growing private companies out there. Being that we're 31 years in business means we've made it through two recessions and we're still kicking butt, still going strong. About 11 years ago, we've entered that REI space. We specialize in real estate investors. So based on our templates, based on our customer service, that's what set us apart. We're jumping into the 11 years ago, jumping into that REI space, we grew to be the biggest and largest REI direct mail marketing company in the nation. Two years into that market, we realized, hey, what's going on here? What's happening to people when they have that bad stigma of direct mail? Why do people have that belief that it's not working anymore? What we noticed is that there's coaches. You can go anywhere in the nation and go on Facebook groups, go on YouTube and find a coach. And at the end of the day, that coach is going to say, hey, yeah, you got to give me a retainer fee, $1,000, $1,500, you know, whatever it is to get some coaching. We said, hey, you know what? If we provide our customer service that we've always provided for 31 years, assigned a free direct marketing coach to analyze your market, keep you on best practices, give you one-on-one -on -one tutorial on what to mail, how to mail, how many pieces are, are required to mail, taking all that guesswork out, making your life easier as an investor. We attached our direct marketing to it. So you get me, a uh, coach like myself, absolutely free. It's complimentary with uh, going with REI Print Mail. And at the end of the day, we just love to share our advice. We want to make better investors in the world. We want to educate the world. We're a marketing company. But at the end of the day, what I consider us, we're a people development firm. We're a real estate investor development firm. We're, we're true transparency. We put all everything on the table, inform our clients, and then let them make the best decision they possibly have with all education and tools at hand. The thing you mentioned about a coach, so that was one of the first things that stuck out to me that I haven't seen any other mail service provider do in terms of, you know, you sign up and there's actually a person that you can talk to and they'll actually give you some insights on like, yeah, send this kind of mail to this market if you're doing this because this has been shown to work better. Is that the idea? Like what exactly does this coach do for a person? Well, the coach is hand in hand, but we are an extension of their marketing team. So once they come on board with us, we're an extension of their marketing. So what we do is we analyze the market. Typically, it starts with a first 15 minute of uh, us getting to know each other, just getting to know who the investor is and then letting them know who we are. So building that trust, building that rapport, building that relationship, because at the end of the day, it's a partnership. And I, I say partnership lightly there because people are associating, oh, partnership, that means I got to give some of my funds once I get a deal. How much does our email take from that deal? We don't. At the end of the day, you're paying for paper, ink, postage, and that's it. Like we said, it's complimentary to have that direct marketing coach. Can you go without and place orders through REI Print Mail without a coach? Absolutely, all day. Do I recommend it? Not really, because then at the end of the day, you'll be mailing blindly. What a coach actually does here, Seth, is the coach takes a look at their market, wherever their target audience is, whether it's single family, residential, multifamily, commercial, land acquisition, whatever it is, because we mail seven to eight million pieces of mail a month, we track every single piece of mail that goes out. So what's working in the market? We're linked up with big investors out there. And if they're making it and it's working for them, we share that knowledge with the newbies that are starting off or the smaller investors. So based on that data and our beta testing across the nation with our templates and mail pieces, we kind of have to a certain extent what mail pieces resonated, what's generating that response rate, what that response rate is, how many mail pieces are required to generate a response rate. At the end of the day, it's a numbers game. You'll yeah. look at the numbers and in certain areas, let's say you're in California, you know, if you're not mailing 5,000 pieces of mail, you're probably not getting a deal. And at the end of the day, all 
direct marketing coaches at RAI Print Mail, our objective is to make sure our investors are getting a deal. When you're talking about, you know, you're able to see what works for other people. So how do you know what works for other people? Like, do they somehow report back to you with like, yeah, I got a deal or this response rate is what I got. Like, how do you know that stuff? We track every single mail piece. You have a coach that's assigned to you. You're a designated direct marketing coach, just like myself. So what I do is once we launch a campaign together, we do follow-ups. We follow up two weeks after that campaign drop. Once it hits the mailbox, we call you. And like I said, it's a partnership based on trust and honesty. So I call you saying, hey, you know, we mailed out 5,000 mailers. How many phone calls did you get? And of those five phone calls that you got, how many were, don't call me, lose my number, or, hey, your offer's too low. What happened? We play that scenario saying, hey, we follow up with you. We track that. And then at that point, we'll we'll see your KPI, so your key performance indicators, what's working, what's not. Is there any way that you track this automatically through like, I don't know, on the mail piece? It's like, hey, call this specific number that we can track and tell how many people are calling or use this QR code, which you can somehow track that way. Or is it just a manual phone call to the user to say, hey, how'd it go? That kind of thing. Oh, yeah, print mail, we do. Like I said, we're all in one workshop here. We help investors in every aspect. So there are areas that we would offer that. We offer our CRM and VA response team where you can pull a track number if it triggers a call that goes on a uh, report on your CRM. And it'll be saying, hey, you got this many inbound calls from that mail piece. Do you guys track deliverability too? So people can know when their mail actually hit mailboxes or anything like that? Unfortunately, not like Amazon, not like UPS or FedEx. We use the United States Postal Service. So the way we track return addresses is using that first class postage where the United States Postal Service tracks it. On 45 days, we can send a notice to the United States Postal Service saying, hey, did this get dropped? You know, based on the postage, if it's first class, we know it's going to be anywhere from one to seven days when the post office drops. If you're using marketing mail, which used to be associated with bulk mail, saying association just changed the name. It usually takes about two to four weeks to drop. We always add that skin in there. So we add that one mailer that gets sent to you, the investor. So they see what the product looks like. They see their mail piece and it's associated with them. How does this work? Like, say if I sign up with you right now and I have my own list, I've got my own mail template. Like I have my normal way that I do this. Do I just like give that stuff to you and then you monkey around with it so that it works? Or do I just kind of throw that out and start over from scratch with new, better looking mail templates that you guys have? Like, like what does the, the process or the journey look like for a new customer for you? So we'll do a full walkthrough of what a new client, a new family, what we would walk them through. First, it'd be setting up a 15 minute phone call. Like we said, we get to know each other, no pitch, nothing like that. We tell them who we are figure out what their business model is, where their target area is. So they would provide us with zip codes, counties, state, whatever it is. And if they have their own list, then we would look in that geographic area where they're at and say, hey, you know what? This is the mail piece that we would recommend. This is the mail piece that's generating the highest response rate. And at that point, we can attach their list and mail it. Now, let's say someone's mail piece, but they sent us a list of 100 names and numbers. And we don't stop them. Hey, Absolutely. But what we want to do is we want to play the numbers game where we'll look in their area and saying, hey, this is a response rate based on sending this many. And if that response rate is too low, we know at the end of the day, based on law of averages, based on the average across the nation, for someone starting off in real estate investment, they need to generate at least 20 phone calls in order to make a deal. If you don't generate 20 phone calls, you're not talking to enough people because the first five, 10 phone calls, you're going to fumble because you're burning And we understand that. And it's okay to fumble because you're going to improve every single step. If you can get 20 inbound phone calls, you're expected to get the deal. At the end of the day, there's no guarantees, but expectation, law of averages, 20 phone calls for a newbie would get you a deal. And a lot of the stuff you're saying, I I don't know for sure, but I'm I'm half assuming that what you're talking about is with houses and house investors. And I know with land investors, it's just kind of a different animal in different ways. So I wonder, like, how much crossover is there? Is it the same kind of thing, or are there totally different assumptions to be made when you're talking about, you know, what works best and response rates and that kind of thing? Correct. So we we work with some of the biggest names out there in land investments. We do work with some big big names. I'm sure everybody's heard of them, but when it comes to the land acquisition, we know that what people are buying land for what amount of market value they're buying that land for. So we cater to that. But when land acquisition, we know that. Everybody's starting to jump over to land acquisitions now and buying it. So competition level is getting a little steep, a little harder, a little higher mm-hmm. because more people are jumping on board. But that being said, you know we've seen a significant response rate based on land versus single family. So we'll analyze that whole market. We'll we'll we do our research as your coach to figure out what's working best based on what's working out there in the market. 
So if somebody's sending mail to a new market that maybe you guys haven't worked in before land specifically, is it kind of just like admitted guesswork at that point, or is it sort of comparing it to just other? No, you could throw a dart. You could throw a dart anywhere on that map. We're 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 sending mail there, and that's for land and houses, or just land one house, all the above. Yeah, gotcha. So I, I know one thing that kind of struck me when when I first did my call with you guys to figure out what you're all about, and I, I'm just saying this because it has to be addressed, because you guys are not the cheapest shop in town in terms of a per mail piece cost to send out direct mail. And it kind of depends on who, who you're comparing it to and what the stand is in your mind, but it's definitely not the cheapest one. So why would a person pay more with you versus going with a cheaper option out there? The results. Are you closing deals? Are you getting deals from, we don't play the, the low number game. Our objective is to make sure you're getting a deal because at the end of the day, it's what matters. It's, are you getting a deal from your mail piece, whether you paid a penny for it or whether you paid three cents for it. If you're not getting a deal and you're spending less money, averages say you're going to be spending more in order to get a deal. At the end of the day, using our method, using our, our philosophy here at our print mail, our objective is to get you a deal. That's a big deal because I know with direct mail, they're, oh, I hate this about it. Whenever I hear from somebody who, you know, they did the stuff, they sent out the mail and the deals didn't come in. They want me to like tell them what the problem is and why it didn't work. And it's like, there are a million different things you can do wrong to mess this up. And it makes me wonder with this role of a coach that you take on or other people in the company, like, are there certain potential mistakes that you can help catch and save a person from as they're going through this? Because I know with a lot of other companies, like you are on your own at the right. most, if you have a relationship with somebody, that relationship is just to get you to order more mail. It's not to actually teach you anything. There's just not that much help in terms of actually executing it right. So like, are there certain things where you could be like, oh, I don't know if I would do that. I would do it this way instead based on these results. Or what are some examples of things that you could help a person with? Like our competitors. We love them. Don't get us wrong. We don't talk down on any other company. But are they asking the right questions? Are, are you asking them how many mail pieces are required? And are they giving you that answer? Hey, which mail piece works the best? Five years ago? What was it? A yellow letter, handwritten font, send out an envelope. That worked great. Killed the market. We know nowadays we send that same letter. What's that associated with? The low ball offer. You know, at the end of the day, it's marketing. So why would someone send a letter and respond to it if they are already associated that in their mind because they've seen it in the past saying, if I call this guy, it's just a low ball offer at that point. So yeah. we're always tweaking it. We're always tweaking, changing that. Uh, we're experts at what we do. We're experts at direct mail. We come up with our own pieces. We test the waters to see if they're working. And at the end of the day, the results is what proves it. You know, mm -hmm. if our clients are getting deals and they're happy and once they get that deal, it's a life changer from, from zero to one is a life changer. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's scalable. You know, you, you got one deal in 30 days. How do I get two deals? We change the whole philosophy, get you two deals. And then we go to three deals. And then once we generate a predictable lead flow for you, we offer a CRM package where we have a VA team that's trained heavily, hired, trained by us, our CRMs built by investors or investors where we're handling that influx of phone calls now just to make your life easier. So we cater to every single tier. So I got a couple of questions here and maybe it makes sense to actually get into the website and you can show us around a little bit. And for those of you out there who are just listening to this, maybe in podcast format and you can't see what we're talking about, I'll try to sort of uh, annotate what we're seeing, but if you want to see it, just go and check out the video uh, in the show notes for this episode. But one question is, are there any like minimum order amounts? Like, could I just send out one letter with you just as a ridiculous example or 50 or hundred? Do I have to do 5,000 units? So are there any minimums with, uh, with you guys or no? Yes. So that being said, there are minimums, uh, our minimum lowest order amount quantity wise would be a hundred pieces. And then we have our price breaks at 500 quantity. We have our price breaks at a thousand, which is going to be our biggest price break. But typically we know the biggest stipulation when it comes to direct mail is someone's budget. So we analyze their market. We build out a campaign and the last piece of the puzzle is fitting in their budget, making sure that works for them. And if our recommendations don't fit their budget, we want to build them a safety net on, Hey, this is what it looks like. We all shoot for that 30 day close because this generation nowadays, they want instant gratification. So we build it out for a 30 day close or a 30 day response rate to where you're getting enough responses to make a deal. Now for the last stipulation, the last piece of the puzzle, if their budget doesn't fit that, then we tweak that model. But then instead of the 30 days, we extend it to 90 days to spread the budget out. And then from yeah. 90 days, you know, six months, if needed, most of the time are done within 90 days. This whole thing about, uh, you know, just even the name REI print mail instead of just some other 
mail company that does it for anybody and everybody, like political campaigns, religious organizations, other businesses, that kind of thing. Is there some kind of competitive edge or like benefit that you guys have just being that like you exist for real estate investors? Like that's the point. It's not serving anybody and everybody. Is it kind of just this general understanding of like what to say and what marketers are expecting and how to get results from that kind of industry? Right. REI Print Mail, real estate investors. The reason why it's named that is because we're experts in the, the direct mail marketing for real estate investors. At the end of the day, we, we print whatever you need us to print. If, if it's a custom design that you have a site business, we'll definitely do that for you. We just won't be able to know the response rate at that point. It's going to be based on you know normal mail. We specialize in real estate investors because at the end of the day, our objective is to make sure they get, they're getting those deals or we're presenting enough predictable lead flow for them to generate a deal. But because it's called REI Print Mail, we're specifically geared for real estate investors. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know when I first started doing direct mail many years ago, I used click to mail which was like a self-serve website. You just get in, you do your own order. If you screw it up, it's your problem. Yeah. And then uh, ITI Direct Mail or letterprinting.net was kind of a similar thing with a little bit more human involvement. And then with uh, Rocket Print, it was... I basically couldn't do it on my own. I had to go through a person and they had to kind of hold my hand. With you guys, is it, um, could I do this all on my own if I'm an introvert and I don't want to talk to anybody or do I have to work with you to make this happen? Or If you're an introvert and you don't want to talk to us and we completely understand. No offense. <laughs> say, hey, no, no. Some people don't want to talk, but at the end of the day, they want to just go ahead and place their order. You know, there's a lot of guessing when you do that, but you, once you get that first order with the direct marketing coach, you'll kind of understand. But like I said, hey, you know what? We recommend you talk to coach. Are you required to talk to a direct marketing coach? No, not at all. You can go in our website, place that order. What our coaches do, though, is they're, they're going to see the order come through. They're going to make sure everything's done properly. Some people say, hey, does a website work? If I put my website, those questions are answered with a direct marketing coach. You know, do I put my website? Is my email? And then did I attach my list right? Is my list set in the right format? You can definitely do that on your own. If there's any errors, our coaches are going to reach out. If you're perfect at it and you send it through, They'll go straight to the players. Our production team will take a look at it, make sure everything, we'll, we'll do a visual inspection to make sure everything's proper. And they'll go to the printers, we'll print it out for you. Yeah, so you can do it on your own, or we always recommend you talk to one of our coaches. That way they can, they can be another point of resource there for you. Sure. And yeah, there's no difference. You know, if you did it on your own, if you've got a coach, you're paying the same price at the end of the day. And for those of you out there who want to give this a try, we do have an affiliate link with REI Print Mail. It's retipster.com forward slash REI print mail and uh, you can sign up and talk to Philip and get started. Do you want to show us how the website works? Yeah. So here, I'm going to share my screen with you guys so you can take a look at it. I'm going to move this over here. So this is going to be our website. Once you, once you click the uh, RE Tipster link, it's going to send you here. Uh, don't forget that all first time registered users with RE Print Mail through RE Tipster get 10% off on their paper, ink, and mailer. Uh, don't discount postage. Unfortunately, that's just due to US Postal Services. But what you see here, and this is just, let's just do a full walkthrough here. So once you click that link off of RE Tipster, it's going to send you to this page here. Click here, log in, you can register. Simple way to remember your username, password, email. Let's keep it all three the same. Your username is your email, your password. They'll send you back to RE Print Mail here. Because we're the fulfillment center in printing for a lot of other database companies out there, we were tracking that data as well saying, hey, you know, if you got on Facebook and you put a post saying, hey, who has the best data out there? you're going to get about 50 responses. And all 50 of those responses are going to be correct because everybody has great data. But depending on where your market is, so based on your geographic area, we offer REI Smart Data, which is our database. It used to be called REWW Smart. We knew that based on that in the past that we were mailing out to people pulling data from REWW Smart, they were getting better results. So what we did was we acquired their company, we approached them with an offer, took over their company, re-engineered it, and provided our customer care with that. Um, it's refreshed on a daily basis. I know a lot of people have come to us with their list and saying, hey, we mailed out based on a list that we pulled from another source, and that property was under contract or it was already sold. Because most other data companies refresh their data on about a 30 to 60 day refresh. We refresh our data on a daily basis. So based on that, we can go in there data for you and attach it to your mail piece. We would go in there, set our filters. What what qualify? You know, you're going to have multiple questions on what kind of data do I pull when it comes to land acquisition or single family? You know, what qualifies as a true motivated seller? What we'll do is we'll analyze that market as your direct marketing goes. We analyze that market. We see what properties are moving. 
What criteria is a felon? Is it five years ownership? Is it 10 years ownership? How much equity is there? What's the market value? Should I be attacking people on the MLS? Should I go after bank owned or LLCs? Or should I go after owner occupied or absentees? We answer those questions for you. We sit there, we have that discussion, just like how we're having a day. We just sit there and talk. Once we get to know the market, once we share our input, we'll have all that information on the table so you can make your most informed decision. A lot of people in uh, the RE Tips your audience anyway, will come to this having a list already. It sounds like if they want, they could just get it right here from REI Print Mail. Like say if I'm coming to you with a list and with a template, like I know just what I want to do. I just want to get started and do a mail merge and place the order. What would that ordering process look like? And then maybe we can talk a little bit about some of the specific templates that you guys have for mail. Because I know that, that really caught my eye when I was uh, when you were showing me that before. I was just like, wow, those mail pieces are amazing. Like yeah, they look really, yeah. That. Absolutely. So that being said, you know, you would log in, register, and then it'll, s- it'll send you back out to this page. All you do is click start campaign. Now our minimum order, like we mentioned earlier, was 100 pieces. But let's do 1,000 so we see the price break here. Now you already have a list, so you're just going to follow through the steps. You know, 1,000 pieces, I already have a list. And then we do proven postcards and then unique mailers. So you have your letter, envelope, mailer, or unique postcards. Let's just, for instance, we're going to do a letter this time. We'll click the unique mailer. We'll throw up some of our templates here. The land acquisition that's killing the market for us, generating a significant response. It's our soft offer mail piece. We do have the neutral land letter if that's what you're looking for. But as far as templates go, you know, we're putting, because it's a, a land acquisition, it just has a site number. There's no real property address there. So we're putting, hey, property in this address. Here's the number. The key thing to note on this piece is that when you're marketing to folks or you're mailing to folks, What's the first thing you do when you you get your mail? I know for me, I walk straight to the trash can, filter through my trash can. My first filter is to throw away all my spam mail, all my junk mail. But when you get a piece like this, the only thing you're seeing is this little window right here where it has your name, your address, and background of a check. Nobody throws money away. Not me. I keep all the money I can. So what we're doing is we're getting past the trash can filter and we're getting inside their house. So where they're, they're going to take another soft look at this piece, they're actually going to have to open it. That being said, when we do that piece, we're mailing it out in an envelope like this. It doesn't mention anything about real estate. It just shows just through that cellophane window as their name, as their address, time sensitive. So it's a marketing, you know, at the end of the day, we're a marketing company. We've got to market it away to pass that trash can, get into their hands. Once they get that envelope, they're opening it up. They're reading the message, scrolling back up here, scrolling up and then they're seeing a investor wants to buy their property. But the key thing about this piece is that we got to manipulate that dollar amount to connect with the seller. And in certain areas, we know based on the amount of mail we send out there, based on the response rate, what percentage that is. That's where the coach comes into play and says, hey, you know what? This is the percentage that most folks are doing. I would recommend that. You know, it's worth pointing out. Uh, I mean, this is another differentiator between REI Print Mail and any other mail shop out there is that these guys understand real estate investors and what the messaging has to be in order to get results. Literally, like the future of your company depends on getting this right. So, you know, if you're a direct mail marketer and maybe you've had your template that, that you've used for years and you just kind of stuck on that, or maybe you want to try something different, but you don't really know what else to say or how else to say it or how to make it look. I mean, this is a huge part of the value of working with REI Print Mail is that they have it. You know, there's all kinds of stuff you can try that's very unique and new and fresh to your recipients that they probably haven't seen before. And I would imagine as time goes on, you'll probably come up with even more of this stuff, right? I mean, would you, would you, yeah. yeah. The market's always changing. I mean, if you're stuck on one piece and we'll write it out until it stops working, until that result, that response rate drops. If we're not getting calls, you're not getting deals. We don't want to be in that business because we're just, we're going to go bankrupt. <laughs> Yeah. But if we're getting you deals, there's no reason to question, hey, does this work or not? Because we've taken that guesswork out for you. Going back to sharing my screen with you, I mean, we can print. If, if it's a neutral letter, one of the main things that we love and we carry it with a badge of honor is we got the first cease and desist from Google saying, hey, stop using our images. We didn't you know, we didn't know any better saying, hey, they're online. We can use their images and put, put it on a mail piece or a postcard, a picture of their, their land lot the satellite image of their land lot or a picture of their their home picture resonates with people because you don't throw a picture away of, of your house you stick that on your fridge it's a constant reminder of someone wanting to buy your house say with land for example i know a lot of times rural areas there is no google street view out there would you take like a satellite image of that with a parcel line or something or what what would you have in place? yeah we'll we'll do the the satellite google image of that 
parcel land. That being said, you know, there's another question to bring up. Where does this check work? I mean, if we're, if we're going to metropolitan areas and, you know, mailing the people that are used to getting checks in the mail, this is a great piece. But then if you're going to like rural America where, hey, they don't get too many checks, they're going to think it's spam. Then we would do like a neutral letter. But how do we market a neutral letter? You know, and we do all custom work. So just based on this, if you had your own template and you wanted us to send that, we'd be able to send that as well. But we have to ask ourselves that question. How do we get past the, the trash can? Based on that, if we're not utilizing the check in rural America where the check doesn't, you know, the check doesn't work because that we, we track it, we're not generating the response, right? How else would we market? We know a, a neutral land letter works, but how do you disguise it to get past that trash can? You can do the number 10 envelope handwritten to make it look more personal. But then we also offer the wedding style invitation where it sticks above every single other mail piece there. Put a real stamp on there. You know, we do the first class stamp handwritten as well, but it looks like a wedding invitation. So they're going to take a deeper dive into it. They're not just going to take this piece and throw it away because it looks like a wedding invitation or a birthday card invitation. We build it all together. So every single campaign that you have, we're getting past that trash can, getting that open rate, that red rate, and triggering a response rate for them to call you. Once we build that response rate, you're creating a predictable lead flow because even if they're calling you to sell their property, if they make that phone call, we know we've gotten a hold of them somehow. How did that work? What did we do? You know, if somebody's maybe a brand new land investor, or maybe they've been doing this for a while and they have like their template that they stand by that they've used for so long. If they bring an existing template to you, can you work with that or do they have to use one of yours? No, no. Yeah. Just going back to that screen. Sorry, I keep jumping back and forth. Yeah, right. Go back to that screen right here. We can do custom pieces based on the template that you send us. If it has ink in there, if it's black and white, black ink, or if it has color ink, we'll do that based on the paper. If you want to do yellow paper, white paper, pink paper, blue paper, we price that out accordingly. You know, if it's a template where it's just black ink, normal type font, we'll generate that piece for you with your own template. If you are a land investor, and I know land investors like to put their contract on there as well. We'll do that for you. We'll put it together. We can stack up to four pages in an envelope. So for those who are watching this, you know, watching the video, if you're a land investor, you'll probably agree. Nine of the 10 templates you've shown me, I've never seen anything even remotely like it before. And, you know, I get plenty of offers from other people on the properties that I own. And you know, I'm pretty familiar with uh, a lot of the other templates out there. And there's really not that many different versions of it. So a lot of people just, they don't have the creativity or the energy to think of a new way to say it or a new way to look. And, right. uh, and that's a big deal. I mean, to be able to stand out and look different from everything else to the point that like, even I take pause and be like, whoa, like, what is this? Huh? And I want to open that. I mean, that, that's worth a lot. I'll tell you a story. We, the mail pieces and the quality that we print with, as far as the ink goes and the paper, we love it because we had a story where one of my investors, one of my clients called and said, Hey, I had a seller go try to cash that check. <laughs> he walked into the bank and tried to cash the check and I loved it and, and I loved it I'm like so what happened he goes I got a deal out of it I got a yeah. deal <laughs> yeah. whenever I see a really good idea like that like this thing that looks like a check I mean I've seen that out there uh, from time to time but I haven't seen it like done at Maschia where like everybody's doing it but what I like about it is that you've got so many different good options to work with that like, even if everybody did start doing that, like you could easily pivot and look very different and still look very good and eye-catching, probably at the same level of effectiveness. So it's not like you're a one-trick pony. You're like a 20-trick pony in terms of... Uh, and the beauty of REI print mail is that we don't stack our mail. If we know that we have another investor using that exact same mail piece in your same area, mm -hmm. and yeah. let you know, saying, hey... Maybe we switch it up to a different color. Maybe we switch it up to a different mail piece. Tax season, green checks work. You got the, yeah, at the end of the day, the message here can be change any of the font here. But what we want to do is send out the, the check to get through the door. One piece that we offer, and we're the only print shop, uh, REI print, direct mail print house that offers it is our slap pack. I'm sure you've gotten these in the mail. We do it for land. We do it for single family homes. We even do it for commercial real estate as well. But it's the cellophane window. It's a trifold. There's no envelope required. You still see the check. It self seals. So it drives the price down. Now you're not paying for an envelope anymore. Now you're paying pennies on the dollar for a mail piece that actually works, generates a response rate, and is just killing the market. And we're the only ones doing it. You got to stay ahead of the time. Yeah. That's hard to do. I mean, I, it's hard, but we do that. <laughs> yeah, we like, that work out. Being ahead of the curve and being able to think about what would resonate with people before anybody else has done it, like it almost kind of takes some creative genius to do that. So 
it's kind of nice to just have that job done for you. Exactly. And then not having to second guess or know if that mail piece works because we're giving you hard numbers saying, hey, this is what that piece is doing. This is what it's doing in your state. This is what it's doing here. This is the number that we should be expected. It's expectation and hard numbers of what the average is. You know, if yeah. we play that number game, then we know exactly how many phone calls it's going to trigger. You know, at the end of the day, there's no guarantees, but if we have scientific data and results that are backing it, hard facts backing it, then we have a good estimate of what's going to happen. And I don't know if you hear this much these days with how your company works, but from time to time, I'll hear from somebody who's like, yeah, I sent out 5,000 units of mail or 10,000 and I got nothing from it. And I'm just like, oh gosh, that's terrible. That's just such a kick in the gut. Yeah. Yeah. So like if, if somebody were to come to you and say that, how do you pick apart what went wrong? Like, how do you dissect and be like, okay, well, Next time we got to change this. That was the problem. Do you know doing that or, or no? Yeah, we ask them. Well, it's true transparency. If you're believing in us, we're going to believe in you. We're going to ask you, hey, what piece did you send? Who told you to print that? Or why did you print that? You know, we, we analyze what they did. And then we, we, we kind of merge it to how we do our business. And we see the dividing factors there. I understand you mailed out 5,000, but what pe- mail piece did you use? Who did you target? Because at the end of the day, if your data sucks, your mail piece sucks. Who was your target audience? What mail piece did you use? Did you use something that worked great in 1996? Did you use something that worked great pre-COVID? Just mm-hmm. times change. And if you're not with the times, you're mailing blind. We hate to see that happen, but then we'll fix it. We'll fix it so you're not mailing blindly anymore. Yeah, it's almost, um, I mean, maybe there's an argument to be made for like doing as much as you can through REI print mail, including like the list, the mail piece, what you're saying, like all of that. Because I think the more corners you guys can control, the more it seems like the success will be ensured. I mean, not guaranteed, but the fewer loose ends that are hanging out there with like, I don't know where you got list from. I don't know how you sorted that thing. Like if you can actually know that, and if, if a person can walk through this with their coach at REI print mail, I mean, does that improve the success rate at all? Well, that being said, depending on where they pulled their list from, we utilize other services, you know, price. We utilize price for land acquisition and we know their filters that they use in there. Prop stream, we used to use them before we owned a data company and we know how to set the filters in there. You know, list source, wherever you're pulling your data from, we will share our filters that are working in that market. I'll send it right to you. You can pull your data yourself or I'll send you the filters that are working. And then once you pull that data, you send it over to us. And then we'll attach it with the mail piece. But we share the filters. I, I don't know how to reiterate it enough that we are true transparency. We want you to succeed. We're not here to say, hey, mail out 10,000, fail, and come back and mail out 10,000 more. No. You mailed out 10,000 with us, we're expecting you to get a deal, no matter what, <laughs> at that yeah. point. You know, and we're going to follow up to make sure you're following best practices as well. Hey, what happens when your world changes and you get that first deal? Especially for the newbies. You know, anybody that gets a lump sum, let's say a land acquisition deal, average about ten, fifteen thousand dollars on the deal, that changes their life because they got it all at once. What do they yeah. do with that money? We follow up with you, we stay on on track with you to make sure, hey, you're reinvesting that in your business to quadruple. Or, you know, we set the limit saying, Hey, why don't you make a deal with us and we'll make a deal with you where hey, once you get to hundred thousand dollars in profit, spend five grand on yourself, but reinvest that money to keep this machine going. Because if the wheel's rolling, you don't want to stop it. As we kind of wrap this thing up here, I don't know if you're going to be able to answer this question, but if you can, let me just out of curiosity, what kind of person should not use REI print mail? Is there anybody out there you'd say like, no, we're probably not the right one for you. Go somewhere else. <laughs> if someone says, hey, I want to mail out a hundred pieces. I know a hundred is our minimum. And they just, they're like, hey, I just want to try it out. And I want to do this. We as coaches will Kind of reject it. We'll just say, hey, you know what? It's not going to generate that deal because at the end of the day, my objective is to get you a deal. If I know in the, you know, deep down inside doing this for the amount of years I've been doing it, if I know that you're not getting a deal from it, I don't want to take your money because then you're just going to hate us. You're going to give us a bad review. You know, we have 200 plus reviews on, on Google reviews that are all by investors, you know, taking time out of their day to write a review about us because of the success stories they've had. So I always encourage any newbie that's looking into REI print mail, if the company that you're using for direct mail doesn't have reviews from investors, it, it, it's saying something. Yeah. And by us, by us providing that level of customer care, by us analyzing your market, assigning you a direct marketing coach for free, by us doing that, we know that we're catering to the right client. Our objective is to get you the deal. And if you came to us saying, hey, I want to mail out 100 pieces, you know, I'd love to take your money. Love to mail out 100 pieces, but you're not going to get the results. Then you're going to hate me. So we'll, yeah. we'll, you know, at the end of the day, what we're going to tell you is steadfast. You want to use REI print mail. 
you just want to do 100 pieces, you want to use us for our templates, we'll do it. But then at the end of the day, we, we're going to tell you, hey, these are the results. You know, at 100 mail pieces, you're going to get maybe a 0.3 response rate. That's not even a phone call. Yeah. And that is a good point you mentioned about your uh, Google review. So I don't know that I've ever seen this where a company has over 200 reviews and it's a 5.0 across the board. I mean, that never happens. So I don't know how you do that. We don't, we don't pay Google for anything. We don't pay. You know, These are all reviews that people took the time out of their day and they said they wanted to rave about us. Yeah. And they, they say, hey, we're the hidden gem in the real estate investment industry. Once you cross our path. And the beauty of working here is that we're a family. We joke around, we're loud, we're obnoxious, but we just because you're assigned Philip as your direct marketing coach doesn't mean I'm the only coach. We, all the coaches, there's, I believe there are eight of us, all eight of us get together every three weeks and we see what our our clients are going. Hey, who's mailing out to Missouri? Who's mailing out to California? Who's mailing out to North Carolina, which is a hot market? Who's mailing? What mail piece did you use? What was your response rate for that client? We share that data. So you're collectively getting the whole company backing you up on your campaign. And you guys have your whole print shop in-house, right? You're not like outsourcing this to some other company, like it's all printed right at your location? Oh yeah. Everything's done here. I can walk next door, hit stop on the printer if there was an error. And I'll tell you right now, that's point, 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 one percent that there's an error because before we print anything, before, let's say we take the order, you came to us, you said, here, here's my template, your template or our template. And said, here's my list. Here's my mail piece. This is what I want to do. I want to go ahead and process that. We don't go ahead and say, hey, we're printing right away. No, we send you, it takes us about two or three days to generate a proof. Typically about two day turnaround time. So I send it over to production. They generate a PDF proof for you. They send you a finalized list. They'll send you an offer column saying, Hey, this is the amount that's going on that check and it's manipulated per property. So you'll see it. You're going to approve the proof within, you know, two days you get that proof. It's going to be a PDF version. It's going to have your information on there. It's going to have the, on a separate attachment, it's going to have your list that we're mailing to. Thoroughly, thoroughly double check that. Typically what I like to do for my clients is I like to jump on a phone call saying, hey, your proof came in. Please double check that. And then if there's anything wrong with it, list them all out. Don't just list one thing because it's going to delay the process of how long it takes to print. So every time there's a change, it's another two days to generate a new proof. So what we do is we send you that proof, list out any changes that you need to be made. You know, or sometimes people change their phone number. Sometimes people change their email. If that was the case, list it all out. If everything looks good, reply approve. That's when, once you approve it, that's when we start printing. Again, if people go to retipster.com forward slash REI print mail, that's our affiliate link. And what are the discounts they get if they go through that link? They get a 10% discount on their first order, or if they even want to just know more, you know, they can go through retipster.com forward slash REI print mail, and then they can just book a 15 minute phone call. Do you even get a one-on-one session? Those are free. So just to discuss your market, just uh, grab our advice. You can go on there, book a 15-minute phone call. Yeah. If you're ready to launch, I would say book a at least a 30-minute to an hour. But we, we want to build that relationship before we jump on to launching a campaign. Going back to what Seth had said earlier, I know with Rocket Print, they require you to buy 5000 at a time. We don't have any order. You know, it's pay as you go. Yeah. So pay per order. And after that, if you want to continue, which majority of our clients always continue, but you know, you're going to pay for every time you do the mail. No minimums as far as how many quantity you need to buy, but pre-bought quantities. Philip, thanks again for giving us the, the overview. Sounds like RI Print Mail is definitely worth checking out. If nothing else, just a phone call to find out, is this for me or not? And you can kind of decide for yourself. But uh, I'll leave you on an ending note. Here's, here's the thing about direct mail, period. Whether it's us or any other print company, the beauty of direct mail is that I'll paint a picture here. You're standing on stage, you have your mic, and you're saying, hey, if you're using direct mail, you're asking the audience, who's interested in selling their house, please step to the left. You've attacked the whole audience at once, and the ones that step to the left are the ones that called you back on your mail piece. If you're a cold caller, text blast, or anything like that, you're having to go to each person in that audience one at a time saying, hey, do you want to sell your house? Hey, do you want to sell your house? So the beauty of direct mail is that you've targeted the whole audience all in one. And then the beauty of our template You've made a soft offer on everybody's house all at once. I love it. I love it. We, all the coaches here, we, we love real estate. We're all, we're all investors ourselves and we love it. We breathe it. We love it. And we want, we just want to share our advice across the board. Yeah. Uh, again, retipster.com forward slash REI print mail. If you want to check out the show notes for this episode, go to retipster.com forward slash 159. And uh, 
wish you all the best in your direct mail. Talk to you guys later. Guys, right. been a pleasure.